The plantation sector of Sri Lanka plays a vital role in the national economy as one of the major export earners where tea, rubber and coconut have been the key crops. The plantation industry contributes immensely to economic and social development of the country. Smallholders dominate in the sectors of tea and rubber, both of which have been making notable contributions to the national economy over the last few decades. Over the years, Sri Lanka has gained profound popularity the world over for its renowned Ceylon tea being one of the major plantation crops. Tea export earnings in 2016 was US dollars 1.2 billion and the industry itself employs over 1.5 million personnel. Smallholders produce over 75% of the country's tea production. Rubber is the second most important plantation crop in terms of export earnings and employment generation. The rubber smallholders contribute to 77% of total rubber production in the country. However, tea and rubber smallholders have been facing a lot of hardships and challenges. The socio-economic background of these smallholders draws them back from tea replanting and the planting of new rubber. This situation influences the smallholders, pushing them below the poverty line. The smallholding sector needs urgent and dynamic systemic reforms in enhancing the productivity to ensure sustainable household income and food security, as well as to improve their resilience. With this background, the need was identified by the government of Sri Lanka to revitalize the tea and rubber smallholdings with the financial support of International Fund for Agricultural Development or IFAD. Accordingly, a well-structured project has been executed as Smallholder Tea and Rubber Revitalization or STAR project for achieving development priorities in the smallholder plantation sector. The STAR project was implemented in 2016 with the goal of enabling poor rural people to improve their food security, increase their incomes and strengthen their resilience. The project development objective is to implement more profitable, productive and resilient economic activities of tea and rubber smallholders in selected districts of the country. The project is being executed over eight districts in Sri Lanka by the Ministry of Plantation Industries and Export Agriculture. Badulla, Munaragala, Ratnapura, Gaul, Mathara, Nuarelia, Ampara and Kandy are the projected districts. Smallholder Tea and Rubber Revitalization Project, STAR project, is designed to assist targeted smallholders to increase their food security and increase their income through revitalization of the tea and rubber development. The project is implemented six years from 2016 to 2022. From the project, 32,000 tea and rubber smallholders are expected to benefit by engaging productive, profitable and resilient activities. Project estimate is rupees million eight thousand five hundred. Out of that, IFAD contributes three thousand three hundred forty nine millions. Government contributes rupees million four thousand two hundred fifty nine. Apart from that, Bank contributes 423 million. 
especially community contributes 469 millions with regard to implements the plan activities star pursues a multi purpose approach across four major components namely tea development rubber development rural financing and project management monitoring and evaluation tea small holdings development authority or tshda tea research institute or tri Rubber Research Institute or RRI and Rubber Development Department or RDD holds hands with Star Project as key stakeholders in providing extension services and technical support. Implementation procedures are being guided by IFAD and the Government of Sri Lanka. Procurement, financial, environmental and natural resource management guidelines are prominent among the procedures. Project activities are implemented adhering to IFAD social, environmental and climate assessment procedures. Already established tea societies were identified and mobilized with the project commissioning their participation. The project assisted the societies to identify their strengths, weaknesses and opportunities in preparing business development plans. Further, the project facilitated the small holders through a range of project activities such as providing market-driven production support, releasing upfront payment for land preparation, arranging subsidies, establishing market linkages, improving market access by developing village roads, introducing intercrops as an alternative income source, supporting nurseries for quality planting materials, focusing on gender empowerment and inclusion, introducing modern crop management, motivating mechanized plucking and pruning, carrying out pilot testing for CO3 grass and SQI methods, upgrading extension services of stakeholders, supporting business development and market linkages. Star project is now being succeeded through implementation of key activities across the major components of the project. It is currently reporting that significant physical and financial progress has been achieved by these constituents. T smallholders development At present Star project has reached out to 13823 T smallholders through 200 existing societies to strengthen and build their capacities hence replanting of 4639 hectares of marginal tea land has been facilitated under the project Tea growers are encouraged to establish self nurseries to meet their own planting requirements of replanting and infilling the project brings technical guidance, extensive training and material input into these nurseries. TSHDA and TRI involves in providing sound technical advice and training. The project provides technical support for tea smallholders on modern management practices, including soil conservation, intercropping, fertilizer application, disease control and much more. Training and exposure visits are often arranged for growers with the Tea Research Institute and other model plantations. Rubber Smallholders Development 
This component is to enhance rubber production and processing of quality rubber products with market linkages of high advantage. New lands for rubber cultivation are identified through divisional secretariats, forest department and Mahavali Authority of Sri Lanka in order to promote the rubber cultivation in non-traditional districts such as Ampara and Monaragala. Star Project has formed 100 Thurusavya societies and strengthened 11,130 existing Thurusavya societies in reaching out to rubber smallholders. The project has assisted in the planting of new rubber on 2,094 hectares in the two districts. Mamitama Saturin Gianoni, Mode Ambar District, Katuka District, Alutin, Rabaroga Kerimata, Apita, Atehe Duna, Ista, Avia Prutia, Ista, Via Prutia, Nudari Mahatun, Madia Timanisa, Tamai Apita, Ne Vanarasa Department, Taititibuna, Vidan Nidas Karagana, Apage, Vagabumia, Katira Karagana, Avasta Labuni. ඒ <laughs> ඒත් එක්කම තමයි අපිට ඇත්තෙන්ම රබර් වගාව තුලින් මේ කාලයක් හේන් වගාවට සහ සත්ව පාලනයට යොදා ගන්න තිබුණ තාවකාලික වගාවන් කරපු මුරු බිමක් ඇත්තෙන්ම කාලයකදී මේ ප්‍රදේශයේ දේශගුණ තත්ත්වය ඉහළ මට්ටමෙන් වෙනස් කරමින් වන රක්ෂ වන ගොමුවක් බවට පරිවර්තනය කිරීමේ අරමුණ ඇතිවත් ඒ වගේම මේ ප්‍රදේශයේ සියලු දෙනාටම ආර්ථික වශයෙන් ලොකු ශක්තියක් වෙන ආකාරයටත් මේ ව්‍යාපෘතිය සලසුම් වෙලා තිබෙනවා. Inclusive rural financing. Rural financing is arranged through financial institutes for targeted smallholders to start small businesses for livelihood improvement. Bridging them with financial institutes is facilitated by the STAR project at present. The project gives technical support for smallholders to develop their business plans in meeting the requirements of the financial institutions. The project is proceeded with key activities through its major components. Significant progress is being reported in the areas concerned. Developing infrastructure facilities for tea and rubber. Tea and rubber smallholders are able to more effectively and sustainably produce and market their products if they are provided with much needed infrastructure facilities. Understanding these necessities, STAR project facilitates financial grants with technical assistance for societies to develop their required infrastructure facilities. Up to date, the project has spent Rs 622 million on infrastructure sub projects in all eight project districts. ඉතින් ඉස්සර මේ පුංචි කන්දම මේ පාරක් කියලා තිබුණ නැහැ. ඉතින් ඔය ගල් වලින් ඉහි පඩි පාර එහෙම ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවා. ඉතින් දැන් නම් ගොඩක් ඊට පස්සේ ඔය දෝසර කර දෝසර කරලා පස්සේ සම්පූර්ණ හොදගෙන ගිහිල්ලා තව තවත් පාර හැර උරා වතුර කෙන පල්ලම් වුණා. ඊට පස්සේ ඉතින් දැන් මේ පාර හැදිලා පාර හදලා මේ ව්‍යාපෘති පාර හදලා ඉතින් කාගේ සමුදායකත්වය ලැබි ජාදාර 
Some of the best cases on ground demonstrate social cohesiveness, ethnic integration, women's empowerment and transparency in the development of infrastructure. Tamil and Sinhalese living in two hamlets in the same village of Koslamda is the best example of ethnic integration in the process of rehabilitating road access to their village. Promoting intercropping of tea and rubber. Receiving income from replanted tea and newly established rubber is time taking as tea needs 3 to 4 years and rubber 6 to 7 years to generate economic yield. Hence, growers are encouraged to intercrop the tea and rubber to capitalize on cost and time. The project guides them in crop selection, management practices, fertilizer application and many more intercropping aspects. Rubber <laughs> Social inclusion, cohesiveness and women's empowerment. Creating a conducive environment for socially excluded people, especially women and youth, is an intangible project benefit. The project operates to promote social inclusion among its beneficiaries. Hence, STAR project has become a better platform for youth, women, poor and marginalized groups to enjoy benefits. They are able to enhance their capacities and skills and act as the front line for village development activities. <music> Introducing new technology and innovation. The STAR project is looking forward to transfer new technology and innovations into the sector as a new policy initiative. The main motivation of this effort is to address the acquisition and retention of new knowledge through the project and to subsequently use it in the sector. The project provides training opportunities for staff of line agencies to enhance their technical knowledge on new cultivation techniques, crop modernization, communication technology and more. Accordingly, the project launched a training program for tea instructors and field assistants with the collaboration of the Tea Research Institute on the use of a global positioning system or GPS. This training aims to overcome the main bottlenecks in releasing upfront payments and subsidies for smallholders. A special user manual and GPS equipment was also provided by the project for the trained staff. 170 officers have been trained and they are making use of the gained knowledge and skills to expedite the replanting process. GPS talks in Handuna Dima to Mulikam Hetune, Vyaputi Kale Tula, Vyaputi Tavashai, Kuda Teva to Himyangi, Ha Rabura to Himyangi, Ektiar, Hardas Pansi Kum Pemaniak, Vyaputi, Vyatmuka Kale Tula, Minungata Kirim. සාම්ප්‍රදායිකව භාවිත කරන මිනුම් පටිහරා සිදු කිරීමට විශාල කාලයක් ඒ සඳහා වැය වෙනවා. 
ඉතින් ඒ වැය වෙන කාලය අවම කිරීමට සහ නව තාක්ෂණ හඳුන්වා දීමේ අරමුණි ඩිජිටල් කරණයට මේ ශේෂ්ත්‍රය යොමු කිරීමට උත්සාහ ගැනීමේ පියවරක් විදිහට තමයි ව්‍යාපෘතිය ඉපද්ද ආයතනය අමාත්‍යංශයත් එක්ක එකතු වෙලා මේ ශේෂ්ත්‍රයට මේ ලබා දෙන්න පෝෂණයට උත්සාහ කරන්නේ placing their faith and trust the motivated tea and rubber small holders are holding hands with the star project with an assurance of future prosperity the star project is now entering the intensive path of improving the rural poor in the plantation sector of sri lanka